Thank you. Uh, my name is Nathan McEachin, and I'm from Terraframe, and I'm here to talk about uh, using spatial knowledge graphs for managing and integrating geographic data over time across multiple information systems using an open source tool Terraframe developed called GeoPRISM Registry. Do I have this one? This one, okay. Right, so the data that we manage reference locations and for moments in time. And so in order to perform geospatial data analysis, we need to integrate uh, data from multiple different uh, sources that unfortunately have different representations of the same common geographies. So for example, I'm sure we've all dealt with this before, there are different IDs, there are different uh, text labels. These things are not semantically compatible in a machine readable way. So uh, in order to integrate data to answer questions like what happened in this particular area or or trend analysis or aggregating uh, data up a hierarchy, um, it results uh, in the need for a large uh, integration effort. So a common georegistry or CGR is an IT solution designed to provide a single source of truth for common geographies. Now it's designed to manage the state of locations that the terminology that's used is uh, a location is called a geo object. So it manages the state of geo objects, their IDs, it manages their classification, their geometries, and their relationship to other uh, geographic objects. That's it. It's not intended to be a geospatial data warehouse. It's not designed to store programmatic data. Rather, it's designed to provide common geographies across an ecosystem of uh, information systems so that uh, when data needs to be integrated across these different systems, it can be done in a machine readable way. Key differentiator, though, of the common georegistry concept is that the data needs to be managed. These relationships, these uh, attributes, geometries are managed over time. And the time component, unfortunately, just industry-wide seems to be missing from a lot of metadata standards. So what is the period of validity for a certain set of boundaries? Now, this is important because if I have programmatic da data, let's say, from 2020, and I have boundaries from 2018, and in 2019, district split, um, then my denominator is wrong and my data is going to be off. And sometimes it happens um, because uh, people don't, uh, because of the lack of machine readable time, validity time component, um, it's just it, uh, it's just people aren't aware that that's the case. That the that the shape file they have on the, on the network drive is 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 out of date. So GeoPRISM registry is um, an open source implementation of the uh, CGR concept that uses a spatial knowledge graph. There is a metadata abstraction for defining geo object types, hierarchy types, and and most importantly how those um, hierarchies and um, geo objects relate to each other from, from different systems. So the idea is that um, dependencies are and propagation of change are managed. So rather than having to manually copy files, the idea is that systems that have a dependency on another system's data can subscribe to that data. And then as changes are made over time, those changes are published and then they're propagated to, de to, to dependent systems. So in the, in the uh, sort of developing world um, healthcare space, the Ministry of Health has a facility registry that references the geopolitical hierarchy from the Ministry of Home Affairs. And so as these boundaries are changing, districts are splitting, merging, combining, that those uh, changes automatically propagate to the um, facility registry. So uh, GeoPRISM registry has been implemented in Laos and uh, in Mozambique it's being kicked off right now. Um, we've integrated with the largest health information system in the world, DHIS2, developed by the University of Oslo, and we've also implemented support for, for, uh, for FIRE uh, to be compatible with the open HIE architecture. And then the underlying um, spatial knowledge graph libraries of GeoPRISM have been used uh, to develop an, uh, an open source drone data management application for the US Department of Interior. So it's been funded initially in the healthcare sector, but more recently by the um, United States uh, Army Corps of Engineers on a data integration project. And for more information, I provided some links. So.